in John chapter 21, after Jesus said to them, cast your net on the right side and you will find some. Verse 6. And then they did in verse 7 of John chapter 21, John was quick to point out and to say, it is the Lord. It is the Lord. One thing that we must develop as part of your default mode going forward is what I call a sense of recognition. As you go through the month of August, you need to develop a sense of recognition for the rest of your life. You need to make a habit embrace, adopt, inculcate a sense of recognition. When Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God, that's a man who has a sense of recognition. When David sat before God, and said, who am I? What is my father's house that you have brought me this far? That is a man who has a sense of recognition. In Psalm 28 and verse 5, he said they did not regard the Lord nor the work or the operation of his hand. Therefore, he would destroy them. And he will not build them up because they lack a sense of recognition. Second Samuel 23 and verse 1. These are David's last words. A man raised up on high. In the message version, it said a man that God took to the top. So acknowledging the lifter is having a sense of recognition. He said, I slept and I woke up because you sustained me. That's having a sense. Psalm 118, the stone that the builders rejected, verse 22, has become the chief cornerstone. The next verse says, this was the Lord's doing. It didn't just happen circumstantially. This was the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. That's a sense of recognition. In 1 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 12, the Bible said, Samuel raised up an altar, a stone. He called it Ebenezer, saying thus far, the Lord. Not our smartness, not our connection, not our brilliance. The Lord has helped us. Thus far. That's a sense. So anybody you see that is testifying is not the only person that God has helped. It's just the person who has a sense of recognition. They cast the net on the right side and they enclose so much. And John said, it is the Lord. And then when Peter heard who should have known that it is the Lord? Because the two times that fish were caught supernaturally, it was for Peter. Luke chapter 5, it was Peter's boat. Right? Was it not Peter's boat? Was it John's boat? John was a partner to Peter. John and James were in the other boat with their father. It was Peter's boat that had the experience. But Peter lacked recognition. Matthew chapter 17. 
Who was it that Jesus took gold to the river? The first fish you catch, open the mouth. Was it not Peter? It took somebody else to say to everybody else, this is not Sababio. It is the Lord. Psalm 52 and verse 9. He said, I will praise you forever. Because I look at it, I look at it, I look at it, I look at it. I trace the line. And I can see you behind it all. And the reason why I'm going to praise you forever is because that's how long I need you to keep doing it. That's how long I need to keep being behind the scene. I will praise you not just in the first half of the year, not just during praise or blaze. I will love personal ablaze. Abraham had nobody around, but he raised up altars to God. Raised up altars to God. I sense in my spirit that in this month of August, it will be an August of miracles. An August of miracles. An August of miracles. I want you to note it, mark it in your heart. It's going to be an August of miracles. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Mark chapter 11, Jesus spoke to the fig tree. And then the following day, they saw the effect of his word on nature. And they said, the, the tree that you cursed has begun to wither. This is out of the ordinary. And then Jesus said to them in Mark 11 and verse 22, he says, have faith in God. Then the next statement, verse 23, he says in verse 23, for as shortly I say to you, whoever, ah, meaning the miraculous is not on God's exclusive list. It's not only God who does miracles. Whoever. It's not only God that does the supernatural. Whoever. Somebody is not here anywhere else. By nature, you are made for signs and wonders. So in the month of August, you will live out your identity. Yes. You must begin. You must begin to live it out, right? Because it says in Galatians 5, I think it's verse 25, if we live there, let us walk there. If we live in the Spirit. I can't hear this thing. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk. We are not natural people trying to live a spiritual life. For he that is born of the flesh is flesh, and he that is born of the spirit is spirit. How many spirit-born people are here tonight? Yes. He now says to them, this is how to do the miraculous. He says, if you will say to this mountain, so this is God's prescription, for dealing with life's complications. He didn't say that in life. Listen. Righteousness does not shield you from problems. For many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many. Not even few. Because God knows he has the answer. For whatsoever is born of God. Overcomes. And this is the victory that overcomes the word, even our faith. So God says, send the problem to the righteous. Because inside the righteous is the wisdom to solve the problem. So 
So God gives the prescription for dealing with life's complications to us in Mark 11 and verse 23. He says, this is how to deal with problem. Number one, you must be hearing from God. And then number two, your problem must be hearing from you. Ezekiel didn't begin in, verse, in chapter 37 by speaking to bones. He began by hearing from God. Can these bones live? It was God and Ezekiel. And then it became Ezekiel and the bones. <laughs> so you must hear from God. He said in Ezekiel 37 and verse 7, And I prophesied as I was commanded. Exodus 4, he says, I believe verse 12, he says, I will be with your mouth. I will teach you what to say. So two ways. Number one, you must hear from God. And that is what is happening every time you come to church. The holy men spoke as they were inspired by the Holy Ghost. And then number two, the mountain must hear from you. Listen, if you can move your mouth, you can move the mountain. If you can move your mouth, you can move the month in your favor. That is, in August, it will not be Sidon Luke. In August, it will be the lines are falling to you in pleasant places. The grace of a line crosser comes upon you. But one thing you must never do is to face a mountain with a closed mouth. Because if you face a problem silent, you will lose by default. If you face any problem and you are silent, you are going to lose by default. By default. So before David ran to watch the giant, he first spoke to the giant. You can't run towards the giant with a closed mouth. God told me to tell somebody that matter will be buried this month. Amen. Whatever that matter is, it will be buried this month. Amen. The Egyptians you saw before, now you will see no more forever. Amen. It will be permanently resolved this month. Amen. There will be a lasting solution. Amen. Permanent solution. Amen. A lasting breakthrough. Amen. Somebody say amen again. was David when he first spoke to the giant he was still a teenager that means it's not too early to start how old was Abraham when God said I'm changing your name without any evidence yet he was 99 so it's not too late to begin You must be moving your mouth this month. Though. And things will be moving in your favor this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost. Makasaka. Mekesaka. Mokaraba kasataya bakataya. Site baraba kose keta bale makataya. Di 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 agaraba kosa kata bala makataya ba. Rete te 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 te
In the name of Jesus, I perceive that in the month of August there will be collective blessings. That means something that will be happening not just to one of us but to all of us. You know, it says, when you ask of the Lord for rain at the time of the Lord of rain, He will make bright clouds and give showers of rain to every one grass in the field. Romans 4 16 says, This is of faith, and it may be according to grace that the promise may be sure to all the seed. He says, What I say to one, I say to all. So there are the things that will be happening, not just to some of us, it's going to be a commonwealth. Yeah. Now, I was thinking with my bible mind the kind of things that could be in that there could be many things that could be on that list but one of the things that could be on that list is that we can all be prospering because in psalm 105 and verse 37 it brought them out not just one of them brought them out with silver and gold so august you're going to be richer you know there are different avenues of wealth one avenue is the wisdom of God. Amen. He says he will give to the man who is good in his knowledge and wisdom, knowledge, and joy. Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 26. He will give to a man who is good in his sight. Wisdom, knowledge, and joy. Right? And he will give to the sinner the, uh, the job of gathering that he may give to the man who is good in the sight of God. So you will just have the know-how. Glory to God. So you will enjoy that, 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 that ability to, to create value. You'll be creating value wherever you are. And, and the value you are creating will be recognized by those who can reward it. Glory to God. Can, can you believe God's word tonight? You know, because you can be creating value and those who are seeing it cannot reward it. They can only appreciate it. I say, ah, you're really trying, you know. <laughs> but there are those who can reward it. They can reward it. So God will connect, you know, your value to those who are carrying your reward. You know, the first set of people that, that um, Saul met, they just gave him something that made him happy. And, and information that, ah, thank God, what my father is looking for. That is, it wasn't Saul's problem. It was for the family. But, now, but the next move, it was now for Saul. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. You know, you can hear that, oh, God has done something well for your family member. That's good, but you want your own. My father got promotion. Oh, we thank God. But me too, I want a breakthrough. When he moved on from that, he now met men. The Bible said those men gave to him. They were generous towards him. Can you imagine you do a job and you're meant to be paid $2,000 and they give you $10,000. And then you said, no, 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 you, you overpaid me. Then they say, is he your money? You don't believe it. I'm sure you know God is not giving you more to fund your greed. Because he can trust you. That's why a kingdom person. That's why. If you eat too much, that would be a problem. If you eat too much, that's also a concern. It's a disorder. So God is giving you more, not to fund your, your, your obsessions. No. But it's what God does. He can give you what you didn't ask for. First Kings 3 and verse 13 is in your Bible. I have also done what you have not asked for. 
what you have not asked for. If you move your mouth, mouth this month, that thing will move in your direction. So there will be things God will be doing. Number one, we're going to enjoy the grace to acquire. You'll be liked, you'll be loved, you'll be preferred. You'll be shown special privileges. People will be kindly disposed towards you. I also saw that in that collective experience, that Psalm 104 verse 37 says, there was no feeble amongst them. So, so don't think God is giving you more money so you can start your medical bills. So the purpose of more is not to, to be treating an ailment. Because there is still a son of righteousness. There is still a bam in Gilead. He still called Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah. He says, the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. Isaiah 33 and verse 24. They shall not say, I am sick. So if you came to August with some ailments, it will leave you this small evening. Amen. As you partake of the blood, as you take the body and the blood, every stranger must leave your system. Amen. Because in Matthew chapter 15 and verse 13, it says that every plant that my father has not planted, every plant that my father has not planted, the same shall be uprooted. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost and declare a clean bill of health as I go through this month of August. I leave sickness free. I leave pain free. I leave ailment free. I leave infirmity free. There was none feeble. There was none feeble. No room for weakness. As my days are, so shall my strength be. Prophesy wholeness. Prophesy wellness. Prophesy strength. Prophesy health. I will restore health unto you. And I will heal you of your wounds. I will restore health. And I will heal you of your wounds. I will restore health. I will restore health. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. The residence of the Holy Ghost. Lady Baraboko Sataya. Lady Baraboko Sataya. Mande Kola Mande Rereba Sataya Ba. My healing springs for speedily. Every eye condition healed by the power of God. Every back pain, every joint pain, pain in the joints, healed by the power of God. Every infection in the chest, healed by the power of God. Every infection in the blood, healed by the power of God. That constant tiredness is over. Claim your rights. For healing is the children's bread. And he says, give us this day. So you can claim healing every day. Including every day left in the month of August. No recurring condition. I live optimally. No breakdown of my health. No high blood pressure.
no usual surge in my insulin level let every level sugar level be normalized You are dropping it down, you are dropping it down, you are dropping it down. For it shall come to pass in that day and this is the day that the burden will be taken from your shoulder, the yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed. You have come to the lost table, we have come to the blood that speaks better things. The pronouncement of the blood is that you are the redeemed of the Lord, you have been redeemed from the hand of the enemy redeemed from death redeemed from sickness redeemed from poverty redeemed from ridicule redeemed from destruction redeemed from untimely death because you are precious in his sight therefore as he loved you he will give men for your life and people for your sake Kasataya, wherever you may be joining from, this is your heritage. This is your lot and your portion. For you shall serve the Lord your God. He will bless your bread. He will bless your water. He will take away sickness from the midst of you. The Egyptians who saw before now, you say bye bye to them forever. The rising out of every form of heal health. In Jesus' name it is so. Stand upon your feet. Not only are we going to have collective blessings, so we're not going to hear that anybody had a breakdown in their health. Because whatever is trying to stop you this month, we have stopped it now. Yeah. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 22, when they began to sing, God set an ambush. Today, through the communion, God has set an ambush. Amen. Whatever is trying to waylay you, we will lay it. Amen. Your pathway is clear. Amen. You are unstoppable. Amen. Oh, somebody shout unto God tonight. I'm asking you to shout because your shout is a is a sound an announcement in the spirit. God has delivered August into your hands. God has delivered plenty into your pockets. In the name of Jesus. I also believe that God is doing special interventions. And whoever that person is, God is wiping your tears. You know, there are things that we don't all need, but you know that you need it. And the Lord blessed him there. Genesis 32 and verse 29. And the Lord blessed him there. So whatever it is that is peculiar as a desire, a need in your heart. For he will fulfill the desire of those who fear him. The Bible says when he opens his hand, he satisfies the desire of every living being. 
Psalm 145 and verse 16. In that situation, God will be beautiful. Amen. Take one minute and just talk to God and say, Lord, in this area, thank you for what you're going to do this month. I thank you for how you're going to come through for me, how you're going to show up for me. I thank you. I thank you. Concerning this matter, you can hand it over to God right now. It's a casting all your cares upon the Lord because he cares for you. He cares for you. We do not have a high priest who cannot be touched. The Bible says you should come with boldness, with boldness to the throne of grace because we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched. Oh, come on, just thank him for it as you talk to him about it because when we talk to him about it, we must also thank him concerning it. We must thank him because in everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. So as you are telling him, you are thanking him. As you are telling him, you are thanking him. You are telling him and you are thanking him. You are telling him and you are thanking him. You are telling him and you are thanking him. Malia Vasiko Bradia Sesese Balagi Isiale Monde Brande. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the miracle job. Thank you, thank you for the miracle door. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the major, major turnaround. Thank you, thank you for, for that turnaround, that turnaround, that turnaround. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Oh, we thank you. Thank you for stepping in into that situation. Thank you for turning it around. Thank you for filling my mind with laughter. Thank you for filling my heart with singing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you glory. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Somebody begin to thank him, 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 begin to thank him. Be deliberate about thanking him, be intentional about thanking him. Just give him praise, just give him praise, just give him praise because that matter is, is already solved, that matter is settled, that matter is settled, that matter is settled, that matter is settled. Just thank him right now. Thank him right now. Give him the glory and, and give him the praise. Oh, thank you. Mazaleke, Isabale, Kura Basata. We give you glory, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Let's celebrate God. Amen. Put your praise on it. 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 Remember, that is what Abraham did. Romans chapter 4. The Bible says in verse, verse, let's look at from verse 18 down to verse 20. Romans 4. The Bible says, Who contrary to hope in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken, not according to what was happening. So shall your descendants be. You can use what was spoken to override what is happening. What God has said about that situation. Look at the next verse. And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old. And the deadness of Sarah's womb. The next verse says he was strong. He did not waver the promise of faith, or promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith. How? So when I say put your praise on it. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many men will be moving their mouth this month? How many women will be moving their mouths this month? As you are moving your mouth, you'll be moving the mountains. I'm moving the month in your favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you know that in all the records, the 89 chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in all the references made to Jesus, there was no reference to his height. But there was constant reference to his words. Never man spake like this. So it does not matter how tall or short you are. If you speak right, you will rise. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. He said, put a watch over the door of my mouth. Psalm 141 and verse 3. Put a watch. Regulate the words that are coming out of my mouth. And then in Psalm 19 and verse 14, he says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my demon. Is it not interesting that Peter, Jesus says to Peter three times in John 21, do you love me more than this? And made him to say it three times, I love you. Because he denied him three times. So I was trying to say, no, Peter, you're not somebody who denies. Don't believe a lie about yourself. Don't let your failure be your last legacy. You are a lover, not a denier. Mark 11, if you will say, and you do not doubt that what you say, you shall love what you say. So if you say it long enough, you must have it. Have up or cost once, say or cost three times. If you say it long enough, you will have it. If I says, believe once, say thrice. Don't be telling me you believe it if you're not saying it. Amen? Amen. Because we also having the same spirit of faith. As it is written, we believe, therefore. Let me remind you. Only ten people said we can't take it. But everybody except two paid for we can't take it. Because everybody except two kept quiet. So when there is a casting down, you shall say. Not that you shall carry ban and go to the streets. I'm not saying don't hold the government accountable, but I show you a more excellent way. Remember, 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 31 says, Desire also honestly the best gifts, but I show you a more excellent way. So I'm not saying you, people who are carrying banner are wrong, but it's a more excellent way yeah. than carrying banner. So when there is a casting down, you shall say that I'm prospering in this economy. I'm not breaking down, I'm breaking through. I'm having more, I'm not having less. I will build that house. I will go on that journey. I will complete that project. People are, listen, people started bringing up, I started seeing that, I, I saw a letter that the principal and the proprietor of Taishula, no, of Mayflower wrote to parents 40 years ago to say things have gone up in Nigeria. So they're increasing school fees by 20 naira. Things have always been going up. Or oh, you should go higher. Yeah. Yes. He said, come up either. Is anybody hear what I'm saying? So it, it, is, it that, is it that you're still going to stay in that business? Or God will show you a new income source. For I will give you treasures of darkness, hidden riches of secret places. Some of you, it may be that the well has dried up. And you got to move on. And you must have that flexibility. And don't say, hey, this is our father's business. No. That's why the secret to everything is in your hearing. For when he led them through the desert, they did not thirst. Isaiah 48 and verse 21. 
when he led them through the desert, they did not thirst. The scarcest thing in the desert is water. But when God leads you, you must find it. You must find it. You must find it. Don't be saying, and people say, ah, we are prospering. Don't be getting angry. Be inspired. Be inspired. I went somewhere yesterday, and the man of God was sharing testimonies upon testimonies. He was talking to ministers, and he was sharing testimonies. When he was done, he said, I should come and make a comment. And I said to all of them, everything you just heard from this man is the least of your possibilities. So don't be intimidated by his testimonies. Be inspired by his testimonies. Whatever he has said, eyes have seen that. Hears have heard that. What God wants to do for you, eyes have not seen. Hears have not heard. Because now somebody will talk say, hey, when we know how, hey, no, calm down. Your exposure is your prophecy. Calm down. Now, come now. How many days are left in August? 24, 23 days. Let's rejoice over the rest of the month of August. Let's rejoice. Let's rejoice. Amen.